Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm really happy to have you here again. So today I want to do some SEO work and I'm going to use something called uh, data for SEO, which is, uh, I think a couple of months ago, maybe a, a year ago, uh, it wasn't as a node inside of Make. So uh, now it is actually a node and they uh, implemented all the functions. So it's really exciting. And I'm going to test it out with you today. Uh, but before I want to remind you that I'll put all the blueprints that I use in all of my videos. Uh, I'll put it in the description box below so you can download and import and use it as is uh, for your purposes. And I'll also include some awesome other links as well. All right, so let's dive right in. So uh, first I want to show you this spreadsheet that I made. So I made a keywords research spreadsheet has keywords, search volume, keyword, keyword difficulty, competition, domain rating, backlinks, and intent. So basic stuff, basic stuff. Uh, so why I want to fill this up, okay? <clears throat> so basically I wanna do keyword research. So searching for specific keywords to seeing how much searches they get, how difficult they are, uh, the domain ratings of the domains, the backlinks. So in order for me to say, yes, do I do this uh, as a blog post on my site or no? Or get maybe new ideas, okay? So I'm gonna create a new scenario in Make uh, quickly. So I'm gonna make a data for SEO. Okay, I'm gonna save quickly so I don't forget. Gonna this beautiful mode, I'm gonna click plus on it and then I'm gonna search data for SEO. And there you go. See, it has now a node. I'm very happy because before I was using the API call, so the HTTP module to do that. And it, was, it wasn't, let me tell you something, it wasn't easy <laughs> and it wasn't fun. Uh, but now you have all of these sections, backlinks, SERP, uh, business, uh, lab. This, this is amazing. So what I want is to get re uh, keyword research ideas. So get keyword ideas. So here I could uh, specify what keywords I want. Uh, for example, uh, let's say, what could we do? Uh, uh, running shoes maybe. Okay, so location. Uh, here I need, I could see what are the supported locations here. So supported locations here. I guess I'm gonna do United States. So here it says, yeah, United States as a country. I'm gonna copy that, put that here. Language, I think, is English. Yep, English here. Okay, so search mode. No, if it's true, there's all you guys on the. Okay, I'm gonna leave things as is now, and I'm gonna limit it to uh, like 20 results. Uh, I could put filters here, but I will not put any filters. I'm going to click OK. So probably going to get some results here. And uh, I want to let, let's first test and see if I get results and the format. So I had results. So status meshes is OK. So let's see what we got. So the data, the result here is an array which has items and I have 20 of them. Okay, so I think the result is an array and you know what happens when the result is an array? You guessed it, which is I need to do an iterator. So I have a lesson about iterators and aggregators. Please go ahead and watch it. Uh, it, will, it will shed some more lights on this subject. Some people are afraid of this. Uh, don't worry, it's, uh, it's not so bad. So what I want is to get these items, okay? So I want to iterate over the, that item and then I'm going to probably put it in a Google Sheet, okay? So I'm going to add 
row inside of Google Sheet, I'm going to search for my document that I just created. It's called Re Keyword Research. It has a header, so it, it has a it has uh, headers. So I also have a video about Google Sheets. Um, it would be good if you guys watch it. So let me first, I need to run this. So I need to, so I get a sample data. So let me run this. Okay, so the iterator is up here and we have everything we need. Let's now again populate the sheet with all the information that we had. So this is a very easy and automated way to do keyword research and you don't have to pay uh, like for example AHF, you don't have to pay $100 per month for that. Uh, you can use data for SEO, which is so cheap and very cheap and, and you get all of the information in an automated way, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bind everything together. So I'm going to go for the iterator. Keyword is this. Let's search for a search volume is that. Keyword difficulty. Let's see where that is. Keyword difficulty, competition. So you have so many things here. You can get anything you want. You can even add more columns to that. Let's see what we if we have any competition. Um, Competition level, I could, let's, uh, let's do that. So I get both. Uh, DR, domain rating, let's see where that is. Mm. So domain rating, let me see where that is. Open those up so I know. I'm searching for domain rating. So I have the backlinks here, so I can put that in here. And then the, the search intent is here. Let me search for search for rating dr. So I'm not uh, finding. All right, it was all the way here um, in backlinks uh, in rank. Okay. Oh no, here I should put it. Okay, I think now I have everything I need. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna auto align. I'm gonna save. That's very important. And then I'm gonna come to here to my. I'm gonna run this and switch to my. Uh, uh, Google Sheets to see it populate. All right, look at that. How beautiful is that? So let me just remove the, um, because it, the, it took the header as a, you said. Okay. So what I have here is uh, all these ideas, right? So I have the keyword difficulty for those. So I have these like New Balance 990, which is zero keyword difficulty, but it has a lot of competition. It has 135,000 uh, uh, search volume, right? The domain rating is 52. You can see this, the domain rating is 7.8. Um, 
so you can you can have more you can have more i only uh, uh i only asked for 20 so you can have more and here is the intent also so this is awesome oh, this is an awesome way to do uh, keyword research i'm going to save this uh, and you can do this uh you can hook this up so now it's taking this but you can make another sheet with the list of keywords that you would like and you can hook that sheet to here as a variable so that this triggers automatically okay uh, but i'm gonna save this blueprint for you and as well as some very cool links in the description below for you to use I think this changes SEO tools uh, that we use. This is a very cheap and uh, very uh, fast and automated way to doing things. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe to see more videos and I'm gonna see you in the next lesson. Thank you.